So what are the worst acne treatments? Things that are harmful or ineffective? Some of the over-the-counter type harsh treatments include things like alcohol-based toners. This can strip the skin of its protective oil. There are also some physical scrubs and exfoliants which if used in judiciously can cause trauma and it can disrupt the skin barrier. There are also some foaming soaps which tend to be a bit on the high pH level. This can also disrupt the skin barrier and make the acne worse. There are other home remedies or some DIY type treatments. You may have heard of using lemon juice. This may be a bit uncontrolled. How concentrated is the lemon and how long are you going to leave it there? Because the lemon juice itself is an acid and it can cause burns. Toothpaste, baking soda, all very uncontrolled as to how much effect it can do. And often when you don't see the effect and you put more of these things, you may end up injuring yourself. The acne can be very irritating, so there's always a tendency and a little bit of itchiness that would then cause one to maybe pick or pop at it, but these can be potentially harmful. Picking at the acne can cause permanent scarring. And of course, the injudicious use of antibiotics is not recommended because we really need a plan as to how long antibiotic treatment should be given. So what's the best approach for acne treatment? It's important to have a good, gentle exfoliant, something that is mild and gentle for the skin. Also important to then think about doing an in-clinic treatment for a simple thing as a medical facial which would be done in a controlled setting to make sure that your skin is looked at properly and that the treatment is not overly harsh. Any form of extraction that would not cause any form of scarring. Other in-clinic treatments would then include things like laser therapy or using RF microneedling. All of these are helpful to not only treat the acne but the acne marks as well as acne scars as well. Ultimately, if your acne is persistent, you might want to then look for any hormonal changes that might be responsible for this and we just want to make sure that you are avoiding any harsh cleansers, scrubs that may disrupt your skin barrier.